24 hours or so to go until the, the game against New Zealand, your final run out as a, as a Rhino. Uh, how's this week been? It's been good, it's been enjoyable, obviously, to, to come off the back of uh, a disappointing grand final loss. Uh, we're hard to take, but you know, coming, having the, the week off to, to kind of regroup and, and regather ourselves. Uh, we've come in this week, it's been a chilled week and uh, been fun. Uh, a few games in training, uh, knowing that it's going to be a tough game at the weekend, but one where we're excited and, and looking forward to. Has it been a good way to sort of decompress after the grand final? You say it's been a bit of more of a relaxed atmosphere for your final week to, to spend some time around the boys? Yeah, definitely. I think getting to to just have some fun and, and there's no pressure uh, and enjoy the week, obviously building up to, to a grand final and what that brings, uh, the, the excitement, but also the pressure knowing you, you need to perform. Uh, but to come into a game like this, we know it's going to, it's just a, a, an exhibition game to to end the season for us and and to just put on a an experience for the fans as well. You played in the last time against the Kiwis. What's your memories of that game? Yeah, enjoyment. Uh, obviously, to to experience the hacker and stand in front of that again uh, is an experience that for people who haven't done that before, it's great. Um, and just enjoyed the game as a whole. Uh, obviously, a tough game. The the a World Cup team ready to, to prepare for that series but um, to come off the field and, and finish how we did as well, get all together and there was obviously Kylie and a couple of other uh, Kiwi boys there so they had uh, another hacker and, and to celebrate that and obviously to finish playing here at Edinley is, is special after the time I've spent here. When you think back on your time at the Rhinos, what will be the, the high points for you? Yeah, it's got to be... Uh, the Wembley final is probably the highest, but the 2017 Grand Final as well, that were pretty special just for the journey and the story of that season against Castleford, so too many to name, I think. And when that final hooter goes on uh, on Saturday evening, uh, would it be an emotional occasion for you? Yeah, I got a bit emotional after the Grand Final, um, obviously for, for a number of reasons that game, but yeah, that will be it then, so uh, try to keep it in check and uh, just take it all in and, and enjoy it mostly. But yeah, it'll be a sad time, obviously spending nine, ten years at a club is, is a long time and you get to know everybody, uh, even in the staff and, and everyone, the, the sponsors, the fans, uh, but most importantly the players and the group of people you spend every day with. Uh, to, to leave that, it's going to be sad, but with that brings excitement of a new challenge, so looking forward to what's ahead.